Hello, it's Marion Stewart, and today I'm talking about brain fog. And I'm doing that because so many women think that they're losing it at the time of the menopause. They forget what they've gone into a room for, they lose their keys, they're looking for their glasses, but actually they're on their head. And sometimes they forget people's names and it can be really, really disconcerting, especially in the workplace when you lose concentration and you forget what you're saying in the middle of a sentence. It can be so embarrassing. And I've had so many patients who have been diagnosed with potential dementia even women in their 30s who go into an early menopause. And it's very scary when families get ready to say goodbye to someone thinking they have got early dementia. But it's incredible to when you realize that very often low levels of nutrients, which we so often have at the time of the menopause, can make you forgetful. They can blank out your brain because you go into what I call economy mode. And so you can't think straight. If you imagine you have a bucket with a hole in it, you're never going to fill that. You know that. So if you go through your life and you've got low levels of nutrients and your brain chemistry is not working normally, you're not going to be sharp as you were before. And then add to that falling levels of estrogen and that really affects your brain. And so you can't expect to feel normal unless you learn how to meet your body's needs. So many things going on in your body. So the first thing you need to do is get your nutrients back into an optimum range. Eat a wholesome, healthy diet. Take some good, strong multivitamins and minerals. We use Fema 45 Plus in the UK and Gynevite Plus in the US. So that will help to put back into your body what time and nature has taken out. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you need to be exercising, oxygenating your brain so that you are helping yourself to have better memory. So even if you're not an exerciser, maybe start doing some dancing or some skipping, make yourself do a little bit of exercise so that you get the benefits and you get the endorphins being released which make you feel a bit better as well. Another thing you can do is consume naturally occurring estrogens, so things like soy and flax seeds and promensal, which is a supplement that's a red clover rich supplement that's been shown to contain naturally occurring estrogen and been safe and effective to help us to fool the brain into thinking you've got normal circulating estrogen again. Don't forget those little receptor sites don't stay full for very long so you need to top them up little and often throughout the day. So there are a few things that you can do. And other things you can do are give yourself some mental challenges, something like hand-eye coordination. So whether it's knitting or doing a crossword or Sudoku or a word wall on your phone or anything that's going to keep your brain active. So instead of using your calculator, do some mental arithmetic, do something that's going to keep your brain active because the old adage about if you don't use it, you will lose it actually applies to your brain as well. So you've got to work to keep yourself sharp as well as making sure you're in really good shape. So I'll be talking much more about this in my virtual menopause class. Come and join me to find out more about what's going on in your body and how you can get it right. And there are self-help programs and a boot camp and all sorts of things so you can find some help. You don't have to feel that you're losing your mind at menopause. You can reclaim your well-being. You can get back to clarity and be thinking straight and probably feeling better than you can remember just by finding the right knowledge and applying it. So I look forward to helping you more as time goes on. But today I just wanted to reassure you that you're not going crazy. It is just menopause. It's just a transition and you can feel so much better. You just got to have the right tools at your fingertips.